This movie tells a story about a 12-year-old kid who is being raised in a Brooklyn household where the mother's side of the family are Israeli Jews and the father's side are Palestinian Muslims. The boy's parents have decided not to raise their son in any religious tradition and that does not sit well with either side of the kid's family. It's complicated to say the least and the movie does delve into the confusion and conflict of the ethnic and religious origins of Abe, the boy who knows his many things except the person he wants to be. For all of the political arguments and debates about what religion the boy should choose for himself, Abe does know one thing. He loves food, especially cooking it. He tries to unite the squabbing halves of his family through his fusion cuisine. Sounds potentially tasty, but there are too many sour notes in the mix. If only these folks could stop yelling at each other for a moment and taste Abe's scrumptious food taken from both cultures and more, all would be solved. The movie tries to take the stomach route to Israeli and Palestinian hearts, but unfortunately it's all overdone. The two main elements of this predictable story, cultural discord and street food subculture, each feel half-baked. It's an awkward mix of familiar ingredients. The self-conscious filmmaking does not help, with edits every few seconds even in casual conversations. Very bad use of montage and forced feeling approximations of computer screens, hashtags, and memes. It almost works as food porn when we spend some time in Chico's kitchen, but we never linger long enough for the experience to marinate. It is doubtful many viewers would want to sit through those tiresome shouting matches that overwhelm the film's other flavors. The quarreling grandparents get tedious fast. Food supposed to bring people together, and this movie sets out to applaud the bridge building properties of food, but winds up doing the opposite, seemingly without its director even being aware. The movie boxes itself into a corner it cannot get out of, so the hurried third act amounts to a cop-out that avoids the conflict. The drama unfolds predictably and delivers a little emotional impact. Surface-level storytelling and the sitcom nature of the family dynamics prevent these movies and Abe's journey from truly moving us.